friends, welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. Thank you for stopping by. If this is your first visit to my channel, I encourage you to check it out. I've got over 500 little seasonal decor ideas and little happy gifts, and surely you'll find something you like. Today I'm bringing you a little November happy gift. You can give your mail carrier, your neighbor, just anyone you cross paths with that you want to give a little something to. It's something you can't buy in a store and it just makes that person feel special that you thought of them. So let's go to my craft table and let me show you how to make this cute little turkey soap dispenser. All right, we're here at my craft table, and let me just say that this is a great project to use up some of your scrap cardstock. Now, the base of the project is using one of these Dollar Tree hand soaps. It's the rounded shaped bottle, so be sure and look for that one so it will look more like a turkey. Now, you're going to need some brown cardstock, a couple pieces, and then my turkey feathers are going to be mixed patterns. I love that look, so I just picked out five kind of fall colors. I need a little piece for his beak and a little piece for the little wattle thing that hangs off his beak. Now, if you're really artistic, you can draw or paint, you know, the eyes on the cardstock, but it's just as cute to use these wiggle eyes and then a piece of ribbon for a bow tie. So the first thing I need to do is peel off the label off the front and the back of the soap, and then I'm going to cut or punch two three-inch circles. All right, I've got my bottle ready now, and I've got my two circles punched out, but they need to be three inches, just in case you didn't catch that. All right, so we're going to put one to the side, because that's going to be part of the back, and we're going to work on the face first. I'm going to just place my little wiggle eyes. This little project doesn't take but about five minutes to whip up, or even less. So just make sure your eyes are kind of close together. That makes it really cute. Now to make the beak, just cut the corner off a square piece of paper and that will give you the beak. I kind of want my beak a little skinnier, so I'm just going to hand cut mine. But you could cut just the corner of your beak. There, I want my beak just a little pointier. I'm going to place my beak about a half an inch below the eyes because I need to make room for that little red wattle thing. I think that's what it's called. I'm sorry for the bar dogs barking in the back. Now I'm just going to freehand this and the only way I can describe it, it's like a candy cane without the hook. It'll make sense once I show you. But it's easy to freehand. It doesn't have to be perfect because I've never seen a perfect turkey. Okay, let me just hold it up here and show you. Like a candy cane without the hook is what I call it. And then that's when you're just going to glue it right here on your turkey. But just be sure and leave enough space between your eyes and the beak. Alright, so now I have my little face done. And then I'm going to glue it onto the front of the soap bottle. For some reason, my little wiggle eyes don't want to glue on the paper. But I'm just going to find that center spot and glue my face on there. So now for the back of the turkey, I'm going to use my second brown. And this is another just free-handed feather. Use about the length of your finger as a guide. And there's no right or wrong. Just, just think of it that you're cutting out a finger, finger width. It can be, the feathers can be as wide or as thick as you want them, something like that, just to give you a guide. I've never seen a turkey that had uniform feathers, so once you get your first one cut out, cut the rest of your pieces of cardstock about that length. To me, I think the more imperfect it is, the cuter it is. Just So I'm going to get five feathers cut. Alright, let me get my paper out of the way. Alright, now here's my five feathers. And just put them in whatever way you want them. And then I'm going to just put a little, just over the top of my circle, glue them. Glue them in the order that I want them to be. Something like that. And then I'm going to put some hot glue on the center of that. And then that's what I'm going to glue onto the back of the soap. And that will give your back a nice, neat 
look. And then the last part of this project is your ribbon. You could either just tie a ribbon or what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue a little black strip and then do my little bow tie separate. I'm going to put a little hot glue at the neck area. Wrap it around. Now the bigger bottles of soap I've seen like at Walmart um, have a longer neck. So you might could even use a bigger ribbon. But I've got a little collar there. And then I'm just going to make a simple little ribbon bow tie. I just thought black would kind of set off the bottom of it. And then just hot glue it right there under the neck. And then you're done. Cute little turkey soap dispenser. I'm going to set it on my bathroom sink and let's show you what it looks like. So here's my little turkey soap dispenser. I just set it on a little cupcake stand, but it's not necessary, but it does show up a little better. But what an adorable little happy gift for less than $2, and you can make them in just a matter of minutes. So I hope this little project will inspire you to make these little happy gifts for some friends in November. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back real soon with a cute little Christmas garland. Bye-bye.